You can praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We have been blessed by God with all these services. The Word of God has been so powerful. Hallelujah. And maybe the, the, the focus of the last services have, has been the missionary work. Amen. Hallelujah. However, hallelujah, this may be a little strange or maybe out of, uh, it seems, I say, <laughs> hallelujah, because the title for this preaching is Pain Healer. Pain Healer. Hallelujah. As you may know, or you have read this story of the widow, hallelujah, there in the book of Second Kings, chapter 4, verse 1, we all know the story uh, of the widow, hallelujah, and the, and the vessels. Amen. Hallelujah. We know because many times we have heard about this and with the focus or with the emphasis about believing. Amen. About having a great faith or having faith in the Lord. Amen. But today I would like to focus this or make an emphasis not only about faith but I want to uh, show or just to remark that this woman was a widow as you know as we read but the creditor had come for her two sons hallelujah and something that I want you to highlight or I want you to think about is that it says now they're cried the woman was not in peace or she didn't have peace in her heart the woman was not um, just uh, dancing because she was a widow and the creator had come no she was in pain she had uh, sadness in her heart Amen. And that's why it says she cried. Hallelujah. She cried to the prophet. It says that she was uh, a wife of the sons of the prophets. We know that in ancient time or in the time of Elijah and Elisha, there were many false prophets. Amen. There were uh, prophets of Baal. Pagan prophets. Amen. Prophets who were sold, prophets who just wanted the money. And so she was one, uh, a wife of those sons. Those, those prophets didn't, didn't have power. Amen. We know and we can remember how the Lord through Elijah uh, made fire and uh, came down from heaven. Amen. To beat all these uh, Baal prophets. Amen. Hallelujah. Because they didn't have any power. They were pagan. They were uh, from the devil. Hallelujah. So she cried out unto this prophet. The prophet of God. Elisha in this case. Hallelujah. But something that I want to see together with me is, is that when it comes to our children. When it comes to our sons. The pain is, is greater because there is a bond, there is something attached. It is your flesh, it is your blood. Amen. So, she was in pain. Well, the Bible is not specifying she wept, she had cried for long years. No. But just with this word, cried, maybe in the Spanish version, hallelujah, Hallelujah, maybe he doesn't say, hallelujah, but in, in the English version it says, she cried, hallelujah, and maybe that cried is not just uh, tears, but it's desperation, it's a condition that your heart uh, or your mind or your being is in, in that state, hallelujah, praise the Lord. So, as I said, when it comes to our children, it's something really painful. Hallelujah. However, the Lord was so merciful that, that he, you know the story, he called, uh, he used Elijah to, to
to make a miracle. Amen. So the Lord made a miracle and that miracle we know very well. That the Lord multiply, hallelujah, multiply the oil, hallelujah. The, our pastor Samuel has uh, many times has spoken about this. And well, the Bible says that the prophet told him, don't bring few, don't bring few, bring a lot. So we know the story how uh, the house was full of vessels, full of oil. And the, the, the more they brought uh, vessels, the more the, the, the oil was pouring out and pouring out. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So this was a way that the Lord healed her. Healed her pain. Amen. I don't know for how long she was suffering this pain or uh, feeling like that. I don't know. The Bible doesn't tell me. Hallelujah. However, the Lord was merciful. Hallelujah. And, and so on we can find in the Bible so many examples about you, uh, human, human beings, characters, important characters from the Bible that they went through that moment of pain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we can have specific situations that can make us feel desperate and in pain. Not for all, everything is the same. Amen. We could say that we can, we can put this into uh, the physical area and the spiritual area. Hallelujah. So when we feel a pain, the first thing that we do is to take some pills. Oh, brother, I have a, he a headache. I have a pain in my, in my stomach or oh, whatever. So we go to the drugstore. Oh, we ask somebody, do you have any painkiller? It is killing me. Yes, humanly speaking, we can do that. And indeed, we can calm or that pain can be relief. Amen. Praise the Lord. It can be any sickness. Maybe uh, we know about cancer. We know about AIDS. We know about uh, tumors, etc., etc. Amen. Of course, the Lord has given us science. The Lord has given us um, treatments. Amen. To, to, to deal with, to, to face all these situations and sickness. Hallelujah. However, however, when it comes to our soul, when it, it comes to our heart, we cannot go to the doctor. Well, some people go to the uh, psychologist to re relieve their pain or to be treated. But that's, we know that that's not, that's not going to work as when we come to the Lord. Praise the Lord. So you can feel maybe in pain because as it happened to the widow, her husband died. Amen. Maybe uh, a relative or maybe a family member had died. Hallelujah. I have seen, for instance, I remember my wife when it was not even very close, a very close uh, relative. It was her aunt. Um, it was, a, I think it was in 2013, uh, her aunt died. And it was really painful for her. I can tell. She was really, really uh, sad. She was in pain. Hallelujah. Uh, you can face maybe that situation. Or maybe a, a betrayal. Maybe you trusted somebody that you really loved and they... They, they were not loyal. They just betrayed you. So that can cause a pain in your heart. That can cause, hallelujah, sadness in your heart. It can also be when you are a lie upon. When people are talking about you, lies, ruining your testimony. You, you may feel really, really down, really, really blue. Like you don't find hope. You feel really, hallelujah, desperate. Because you would like to... To go out and shout, that's not true. Amen. How many of you have faced that? That's painful. Hallelujah. Because you don't expect people to do that. However, we, we, we are humans and we make mistakes and people, people fail. Hallelujah. People fail. We are human beings and we fail. Something else that can cause us pain is... When we are rejected, 
Amen. Have you been rejected from somewhere? Have you been rejected from someone that you feel like, wow, I thought I was welcome here. I thought that you loved me or I thought this or that person loved me, but it's not so. They rejected me. Hallelujah. It can happen too and it brings pain. And I would like to, to call the example of Joseph. We all know very well how he was despised, how, was he, he, how he was rejected by his brothers. Amen. You can find that, that, that very part when he, when he goes to find them um, in the desert. And, and they see him afar and they start talking and making plans about his death. But one said, no, 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 let us not kill him. And so many evil things, not even not saying uh, we're not going to kill you, but selling it and so many bad things that Joseph was not there listening to. But when he came, the first thing they did was to take out the coat, the garment of colors. Hallelujah. You can find that in Genesis 37 uh, from se verse 17 to 28. Hallelujah. I imagine that. I imagine or I, I am going to think uh, in Joseph's uh, feelings because we know he had had some dreams. The Lord had given him some dreams. Hallelujah. But the reality was totally the opposite. And many times our reality is not what we are thinking about. It's completely the opposite. Amen. The Lord has spoken you maybe to use you in a mighty way, but you are seated. The Lord has spoken about a ministry, but you are seated. And your reality is the opposite to what the Lord has spoken to you. And that brings pain and that brings sadness. Amen. Hallelujah. Even discourage, discouragement. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I think about Joseph and I think, wow, that situation was tough for him. They were his brothers. Amen. But they didn't care. They really hated him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I would like to, to tell you that the Lord allows pain. Hallelujah. The Lord is in control of everything. Hallelujah. I don't know your situation. I don't know what you're going through. What... It's causing you pain I don't know but the Lord knows and the Lord is in control of your situation and I would like to say or just to to make a very short testimony about my son for some of you maybe you already know about it some of you you don't know I have a son he's two years in some months uh, he was born uh, in April the 18th 2016 hallelujah but when he was four months he had a terrible fever which didn't stop and uh, we took him to to the clinic to the hospital and apparently it was just a fever maybe it was an infection the doctors started taking tests you know blood tests uh, uh, urine test everything all the tests that they make to to see what's going on and it was a Thursday it was yeah Thursday very early in the morning so all Thursday all Friday and they they didn't they didn't find anything they they were not able to identify what's going on what was going on Saturday came um, of course, uh, the brothers and sisters from church, they, they knew about it. You knew about it and you helped us praying. However, we were there with him wondering what was going on, wondering what, what is happening. Hallelujah. Of course, when you see your, your son, when you see uh, a, a very close person to you suffering, it, it, it gives you pain. Amen. It gives you uh, in your heart, it touches your heart. Hallelujah. So Saturday came, 
apparently they had found what was causing that problem and it was that he had something in his lungs specifically in her left in his left lung hallelujah there was um, there was air air was coming in his lung hallelujah and so the body was fighting and that's why uh, they put some antibiotic and they were treating it hallelujah but the crucial moment hallelujah for us for my wife and I was that Saturday night I remember after some group of brothers and sisters went there to to pray with us and to give us some words of encouragement we it was about 7 38 we we went in the clinic again we were with him on the bed waiting waiting to the doctors to do something else and I remember that exact moment they had uh, moved him from a from a far bed to a closer bed for the doctors to see he was in emergency hallelujah and uh, my wife was next to me and she saw the baby and she said uh, baby uh, or um, how they say honey <laughs> the baby is blue and I said no don't worry I had to be strong so don't worry the baby is okay hallelujah so uh, a nurse was coming and changing the she was changing the antibiotic for a stronger one when she comes to do that immediately a doctor came running and when I turn again to the baby I see him blue I see him with the lips all white and doing like <gasps> he was dying I, I didn't cry I was strong my wife was went on his her and her knees uh, she started crying they took him immediately to the uh, emergency room hallelujah they had to reanimate him hallelujah I was really strong even I went to into the room and I saw everything so I, I asked a nurse what is going on and she asked me who are you and I say I am his dad get out of here I was okay so I didn't know what to do I was in pain and suddenly I received a phone a phone call it was sister Sarah how are you brother Uzi and I couldn't hold it I was in pain but I was being strong because of my wife however I couldn't hold it and I started crying she started praying uh, and um, we prayed a lot with all our hearts to God we cry out and said Lord you have the control you are the one who gives life and take it away hallelujah amen that, that was not an easy moment because the baby was was dying he was dying hallelujah but I remember talking to my wife after that the, the, the baby is in the hands of God his life is in the hands of God we can't do anything but God it is not a matter of the doctors it is not a matter of medicine he's in God's hands hallelujah and and peace came to our heart and that very night they took him to the intensive care he remained there for almost a month he had some tubes they were draining the air and the water hallelujah it was painful to see the baby not even able to cry because when he was about to cry he would cry like this you couldn't hear anything that was painful that was painful but you know what there is a pain healer there is a God who sees your situation there is a God who is in control of your situation hallelujah I don't know what you're waiting for or what you're going through but 
let me tell you God is able to to relieve your pain just hung on there just remain faithful just remain there because God is going to give you the victory God is going to take away the pain hallelujah amen glory to God hallelujah praises to the name of the Lord you know the book of Isaiah chapter 53 53 verse 5 he it says that he took our sins our trespasses our transgression hallelujah hallelujah he was wounded for our transgressions praises to the name of the Lord and many times we forget it many times we get desperate and we find the human way to relieve the pain we find the human way to get out of a situation hallelujah it says but he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed it transcends the body it is not only about your body it's about your spirit your soul when we feel weak when we feel we're not gonna make it when we feel like quitting when we feel like there any there is not hope the Lord is going to heal you the Lord is going to give you the strength the Lord is going to answer you hallelujah but I want to tell you something else the Lord also feels pain the Lord also feels pain when we are disobedient. The Lord also feels pain when we do not do a little bit more. Yesterday we were listening to Brother George about that, that church in Germany. We heard about how they, they were so relaxed and comfortable with the wealth of this world. That they didn't make any effort. What do you think or how do you think the Lord felt about it? It is the same with us. Many times we cause him pain. Amen. And what I made emphasis that the pain is even greater when it is your son. Because we are the children of God. Do you consider a, ch a child of the Lord? Amen. And that is always, or that is also going to cause him pain. When we want just to backslide, when we want to just get out of the ways of the Lord, when we don't want to remain faithful, when we do evil things, knowing that that is not correct, the Lord is in pain. The Lord is, is grieved. The Lord, the Lord is sad. Hallelujah. And it is sad because there are many around the world that are waiting for the message that are waiting for you and I to tell them there is a pain healer, there is a savior, there is a way out. They are waiting for the word to come to their hearts, to come to their lives. But as the, as the, the thing that we have for the mission days, for the day for missions, hallelujah, was laborers into his harvest. And it is in the book of Matthew chapter 9 verse 38, hallelujah. But if there are no laborers, if there are not uh, brothers or sisters that go and tell that, per, that people about the Lord, about that God can heal, that God can take them out of their problem, that God can give them a different life, hallelujah. Imagine people suffering even greater pains than, than you and I will suffer. For instance, in Africa, there is a lot of poverty kids dying because they don't have food and many times here we we just waste uh, the, the food amen many times we just say oh I don't want that just throw it to the garbage that is sad hallelujah so they are in pain but they need you and I to tell them there is a, a healer there is one who paid the price there is one who can save them there is one who can redeem them there is one who is going to turn the pain into joy hallelujah how many of you believe it that is the one the God that we served just to finish let us remember that God is in control and it maybe you say brother but my pain is not healed yet hang on there the Lord is going to to help you the Lord is in control of your situation don't worry the time will come 
and you will rejoice. You will have peace. Hallelujah. Your pain is going to be forgotten. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 